All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rokhakodash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, whom this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and mercy to the house of David, those men that are doing his work in sincerity and in truth across the four corners of the earth. And much love to the 130 you believers out there. To you all, I say shalom and greetings. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying through the spirit. All right. So as you can see, um, these people, they appear to be burning. They appear to have flames on them. Okay. And so uh, like this dude looks like he's running around getting burnt on fire. You know, these clips are going to go by relatively fast. I have, man, I have about 10 scriptures uh, written down, possibly a little bit more that I wanted to bring out on this, you know what I'm saying? But as you can see, these people, I guess I'm just going to have to talk about these briefly and bring scriptures out. But look, like this dude, right? Um, this guy is, is a spitting example of Zechariah 14 and 12 right there. You know, I guess I'll start it with that one. You know, uh, Lord's will. I got like two or three people that I that uh, I want them to speak. Matter of fact, hold on. I just had to repeat this guy a few times while I pull out this precept. Um, but this is let you know the mentality of these people. But this is Zechariah 14 and 12. It says, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, which are the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. It says their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. You see, so this is going to be the judgment. How this dude looks like goddamn Hellraiser Skeletor. This is going to be how they really look when that when the missiles come and hit, hit them, man. Right. Their hair going to be blown away. Their eyes going to be blown away. Their tongues, their noses, that radiation from thermonuclear missiles is about to take hold on the lives of you people, man. All right? And you don't know how bad it is. See, right now, they seem like they having fun and they on uh, Instagram and TikTok doing all of this folly. The scriptures say folly is set in great dignity. Everybody in the world knows about hell, right? And now, that it ain't no hell where you go and you burn forever, right? But the hell that, that the, Lord, the Bible is talking about, ultimately, right there, you got hell as a condition and hell as a grave, but you got that uh, fire and brimstone that's going to come from the heavens and burn Babylon, America, the second death that you people are going to be involved in. So, Lucky, I might have to keep pausing this a couple times, but I do want to get this out. Um, but pe people not thinking of how severe the judgment of God is going to be in that day. So they taking everything as a joke, taking everything lightly, using an app, the Inferno filter, Right. Uh, to be able to dictate what's going on in real real time, what's going on and what's going to happen in real life, you know, thinking it's all a joke. Let me let me see something real quick, actually. You know, this this not a this not a time to play. All right, the, the word is uh. I looked up the definition of inferno. Okay, it says a large fire that is dangerously out of control. You know, um. <laughs> And it's going to be very much in control. That's the that's the thing, right? This inferno that they got, right? Just thinking that that's cool, but the 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 Lord is going to be controlling that, right? Yahweh is going to be in the midst of that fire. Now, the word inferno began to get popular by um there was a guy named uh, Dante Alighieri, and I remember this because I read and I watched certain things upon this, but um it's about him going into the depths of hell and. Uh, uh, things like that. But, um, let me see. Let me see if I can find the etymology as well. But see these people and this guy here, right? He, he's, he's praying to an idol God. A lot of these people that were doing this, where I would say were predominantly Elamites and Ishmaelites, but you had Jake's y'all saw Jake's on there. It was some Israelites that are doing this as well, you know, but see a lot of these people in their souls, they know they're doomed, all right? It says, uh, Inferno, hell, the infernal regions from Italian, inferno, uh, from late Latin, infernus, hell, in classic Latin, the lower world, a large raging fire. And that's exactly what it's going to be, a large raging fire, right? 
is going to come upon the wicked. And that was a motorcycle, right? Your your materialism going to be burnt up in it. This guy running around just ablaze. You know, that's you're going to be seeing people when them missiles come. And a lot of them are going to die instantly. But a lot of people are going to be running around with that fire on them because everybody's not going to get direct impact. Some people are going to be, uh, you know, miles from the city where the direct impact was and then the heat wave and the scriptures talk about the destroying wind is going to come and take them women right you see this and she she just threw i can't read it because my screen is blocking it but y'all can see it down there talking about basically she breaking up like she don't want to be with her excuse me want to be with her man because of another woman yeah she deserved a burn man you know th this is the the foolishness she's probably an ishmaelite who believe who they're they big on believing in in multiple multiple uh uh wives right it says uh, i i just stopped the phone it says me patiently listening to my husband while he praises another woman you see well first of all praising another woman is through right but at the end of the day if he got another woman then you supposed to be cool with that right but she she burning up you see and that and the scriptures talk about uh, grief of heart and sorrow. It is a woman that uh, uh, um, is jealous over another woman, man. So that's just something that you got to get over with. But you're going to have, and these people are literally doing this to themselves, right? These are people. Now, you got some situations where people put the app on them. But a lot of these people are doing it themselves, lighting themselves on fire, man. You know, and how foolish are you to be? But let me get this. This is a... Uh, uh, Jeremiah, I got a dude coming up next to talk. This is Jeremiah 51 and uh, 58. Thus saith the Lord, power of hosts, the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken and her high gates shall be burned with fire and the people shall labor in vain and the folk in the fire and they shall weary. You see, so the broad walls of Babylon are going to be utterly broken. Her high gates are going to be burned with fire and she don't really got no high gates. All her her places of uh power, her uh uh America's uh strongholds, your your uh all these great buildings, your uh your ideologies, all that's gonna be burnt down, right? And it says the people shall labor in vain and the folk in the fire. So you people are gonna be in the fire and they're gonna be weary, right? What happens when you burn something? It makes it weak, man. All right, just you light a, a stick on fire. Right. It's, it's going to get to a point where that you can you can flick that damn thing and it's going to break in half. And that's how these people are going to be in these times to come. man. thus saith the Lord and thus saith the Bible. So these people are literally setting themselves on fire in an app thinking it is cute and thinking it is a joke. But this is going to be your real life scenario very soon. This go for all you so-called white people, which are the Edomite nation. Right. All you Ishmaelites, which are the Arab nations. You uh you uh Elamites, you uh so called East Indians, you Persians, okay, Iranians, all right, you uh um uh, all of you nations, and you so you two thirds of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, are gonna burn in this fire for your unwillingness to serve the true God, okay, of power of, of heaven and earth, the God of Israel. And since you have done these disobedient things, he's going to destroy you by fire. He destroyed the earth the first time by water, and this time it's going to be by fire. So now I got this dude. He's probably a sodomite, but I'm going to just let him say his little piece real quick. I had a useless-ass debate with this dude, man. Just going to make a useless-ass point. Man, like, he's never heard of you can get paid to be gay when I told him. <laughs> Welcome to hell. I had a useless ass debate with this dude, man. Just gonna make a useless ass point. Man, like, he's never heard of you can get paid to be gay when I told him. <laughs> Welcome to hell. See, we're in hell already, man. The condition that we're in when our people, seeing them act the way they do and do the things they do, see how Esau Edom has corrupted this world in the minds of the people. Right. You had a uh, um, you had that guy. I didn't want to put the whole clip on there because this is just too much like watching these dudes and how low you Israelites have fallen, man. 
All right. But he was basically talking about uh, before then it was this guy interviewing men and he was basically asking him how much. Uh, no, he was saying for a million dollars, would you stick your rod in a in a glory hole? It's through. I, I'm hating even talking about it. Stick your rod in a glory hole with 50 percent chance of a man or a woman being on the other side. Would you do it for a million? And majority of the dudes, it's only our one dude say no. All the other dudes were approving with it. This is how you know we're in Sodom and Gomorrah, right? In the same way Sodom and Gomorrah was burnt by fire, right? It was burnt from brimstone from the heavens. That was setting an example of what's going to happen to Babylon, America. You see? And so, and he's talking about paying, you can pay to be gay. Like, people will pay you to be gay. That's how you know this world is corrupt. Imagine how many people right now being paid to act like something they're not. And imagine the, the influence that they're having. You know, it was even uh with that that dude who's never coming in my house in the kingdom, Lil Nas X. That dude, uh, that dude said, he said, uh, uh, he he's not a sodomite anymore. He was just playing a role. That's a lie, bro. He was, you, you, he was into that spirit. That demon spirit was taking hold, taking hold of him. You know what I'm saying? He was uh, tonguing dudes down on stage. You know, full mo mode, man. You know, so th these people don't got a chance, man. All right. And our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, is going to utterly destroy these people. So let me, let me get some of these other scriptures before I uh, continue on, man, because I can't believe these people. Just out here, you, you burning yourself, you know? And people know about hell. So it'll let you, that's what I'm saying. People know about what's the so-called hell. So why would you want to see yourself in flames if you know that's supposed to be a place that's full of torment? Right, but this is Isaiah 9 and 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments with blood, but this shall be with burning and a fuel of fire. Right, so this war war that's coming, this judgment that's coming, is going to be by burning and a fuel of fire. All the other wars were confused noise, but this one, you're going to, it's going to be by these missiles, and all these people are going to be burning in the fire that Yahweh Bashim al Shai is bringing forth to the earth, man. Okay? And it's, the the fire has already begun, really. All right? And right now, it's a spiritual fire because we're we're teaching the Lord's word. Right? It's already burning these people up. This is Jeremiah 5 and um, 14. It says, Where, Wherefore thus saith the Lord, power of hosts, because ye speak his word, because you speak his word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. See, these people are already being devoured by the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim al being They're being devoured by his word. So the, the point is going to come where the Lord is going to make our words um, become, well, his words. Like he said, I will put my words in thy mouth. All right? His words are going to become manifest, right? His words are going to become manifest. And that's what we're seeing uh, through all these people. Now, I want to let this next dude speak. And then the last one, I'm going to just keep repeating that one, is the dude just waving, right? And this is the judgment of taking an MOTB as well, right? And it's spiritual. He got a hand raised up saying, I miss you on the last one. That's what these two-thirds are going to be waving, you know, while they burning, praising the Lord, putting their hands up, hoping, wishing they could be saved. But let me let this next dude speak with his through as it's, it's quick, but let me get it. What are your last words? Drop the J, you going to hell. Mm. What are your last words? Drop the J, you going to hell. Mm. You see, the image there was of a nuke getting dropped on the earth, and it said, What are your last words? And that fool said, Drop the J, you going to hell. The J, he's talking about a joint, most likely. Right? Stands, put down your blunt. So smoking weed is uh is the last thing that 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 was on your mind. You going to hell, man. You see? Let me see. I had a a scripture. This is uh Ecclesiastes 8 and 10. It says, Kindle not the coals of a sinner, lest thou be burnt with the flame of his fire. You see, so ultimately, man, don't don't Go, don't get along with these people going along with what they do and they wicked ways. 
because you're going to end up getting the same judgment as him, man. All right? You don't want to be burnt up in this place. You don't want to be destroyed in this place. All right? So the the you shouldn't be smoking weed no way. And you notice none of this thing it had a dudes talking about smoking weed, talk about sodomites. Dudes had bald hair. One the dude at the beginning that was screaming. I thought that was spiritual. He was screaming. Even though he was singing, but he looked like he was screaming. He had dreads. You see? Idol gods, motorcycles. And now this one here is waving. It says miss you, and it's a hand burning and it looked like it's waving to the sky you see and so let me let me go ahead and we know that the motb is uh the c hip the chip that the, that people are going to put in their hands and so we know that this burning is going to be the destruction of, of the heavenly father right these missiles coming down and see they saying miss you on the way up but we're not going to be saying miss you to babylon we're not going to be saying miss you to the wicked all right, this is Revelation 14 and 9. It says, uh, I'll start at 8. It says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. That's what I say. All these other nations are following after the ways of, of uh, America, of e e uh, Esau, Edom. And that that's the way of wickedness, man. All right, it says, and a third angel followed him, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image following this lifestyle of this society, right, of Roman Roman ideology, and receive his, his karagma, his M-A-R-K, in his forehead or in his hand, which is going to be uh, 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 a RFID C hip, you know, radio frequency identification. They're going to take that in their hand like the size of a grain of rice. It says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Hashem El Shai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And what's that talking about? That's talking about the thermonuclear missiles destroying the wicked of this of this world, man, the wicked of, of America, Right? And those that have it across the world, the chariots are going to come zap you. Missiles are going to hit a couple other places, right? But the Lord, uh, the Heavenly Father, right, the, the Messiah, and the elect are going to be beholding the judgment that is written upon Babylon, America, all right? And Lord willing, we be at that number, we can, we're going to witness this place fall down for the witchcraft and the things that they've done. Right, because this is not going. This is not going unnoticed. Your sins have reached unto heaven, according to Revelation the 18 chapter. Matter of fact, um, let me grab that real quick. Revelation 18 and um, verse five. It says, "For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High Yahweh hath remembered her iniquities." So the Lord is seeing all of the wickedness that all of you people are doing and thinking you're getting away with it, but you're not, man. All right. Is he seeing it all? All right. All of the angels are reporting back to the Heavenly Father the wickedness that you people are doing, your adultery, right? Your witchcraft, your weed smoking, your uh idolatry, serving other gods, worshiping false holidays and birthdays, right? Doing all types of ill drugs. Dressing like men, dressing like women, and you're the opposite. Homosexuality, transgenderism, pedophilia, all of these things are, are being taken to a level like never before. And the Heavenly Father is going to serve a recompense for this. Right, I'm going to read down to verse 8. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works and the cup which she had filled to her double. America is going to get twice the judgment. The Edomites are going to get twice the punishment for the things that they've wrought. How much has she glorified herself and lived deliciously? That's you Americans. You glorify yourselves and you live deliciously. You got good lives, living in comfort. And you don't even have real problems to the point where you're burning yourselves on your social media. And that social media is a demon. Media means medium, right? Witchcraft and Satanism is used through these things, man. Okay. It says, uh, 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 so much torment and sorrow give her for she said in her heart, I said a queen, right? Which is a harlot, a whore and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. 
right? She don't need no man. She don't need nobody to help her. She don't got no problems. I shall see no sorrow, but America's going to see the most sorrow. It says, therefore, that's the irony in it. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord power who judges her. You see, so America is going to get burned with fire, man, because it's a whore. That's the judgment of a harlot in the Bible, right? And it says, for Lord is the strong power who judges her. So America is going to be utterly burned and destroyed, man. And this place is going to be torn down by violence. And the elect are going to be worshiping Yahweh Bashem Shai for saving us from this wicked and adulterous generation, this untoward generation, right? This is Revelation 28, 21 and 8. It says, uh, but the fearful and the unbelieving, and the let me start at six. It says, and he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, which is the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the foundation of the water of life freely. And see, what are you people, when you're on flames, what do you want more than anything? Water to be quenched. But the scriptures say that this, this flame shall not be quenched. Right? Matter of fact, 2nd Ezra 16 and 15 says, The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. You see? So it, it's got to consume everything. Root on branch, man. Okay? But those that are coming up, the Lord says, Him that is a thirst of the foundation of the water of life freely. The Lord's going to give that to him. So we, we're thirsty for these scriptures. We're thirsty for life. We're thirsty for salvation. Whereas the wicked are, it says, All that hate me love death. And you clearly hate the ways of the heavenly father. So the Lord is going to destroy the wicked in the time to come. It says, he that overcometh shall inherit all things, right? That's the elect and Lord willing, we be at that number. But all of you are acting like two thirds and heathens setting yourself up for punishment. And I will be his God and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So this part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone is 200 million thermonuclear missile warheads coming to destroy the whole of America where not one man will survive, one, not one man, woman, or child. And they had young ones in this too with these flames and these fires, but I didn't put them on here. Because I didn't want the video to get flagged. But they had, a, they had young people all on these uh, infernos too, which is spiritual. Because it's going to be young people taking uh, them uh, sea hips too, right? It's a he causes all, you see? And so we're trying to get saved from the damnation that's going to fall upon this place, okay? I'm going to cut out some of the scriptures that I'm getting. But uh, let, me, let me go. I probably got about maybe three or four more. Uh, this is John chapter 15. In verse 6, it says, If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. You see? So if you don't abide in the Lord, you're going to be like, you just fuel for the fire. That's all you are, man. You just fuel for the fire. And that that's what Yahweh Bashem Shai says. That's his will. Okay? And who, who are we to fight against it? All we're trying to do is get on the right path so we can get saved, right? And save the elect and, and do our part to please him. This is Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. You see? So that, that's what's coming to uh, Babylon, America, the day that burneth as an oven, man. All right? That's what's coming. Joel, the second chapter is coming. Okay? These are the things that are written in the Bible that's going to be the expected end of the wicked. All right? And he, all of these people on here, these, these cats be acting like they don't hear the prophets, that they don't hear the men of the Lord that they haven't been warned, all right, that they don't have any sin, that they're good guys because they give to the homeless, all right? Second Ezra 16 and 53 says, Let not the sinner say that he hath not sinned, for Yahweh shall burn coals of fire upon his head, which saith before the Lord power and his glory, I have not sinned. 
And see, we try to tell these people to wake up, right? The scripture saying uh, now is the high time to wake out of sleep. We try to warn you Israelites about what our our Lord and Savior, what about what our power is about to bring to this earth, right? But he's about to scorch this place. He's about to scorch these men, these women, these children. He's about to destroy and burn everything that opposes him, man. All right? So you, you got to get your life together now and stop with this damn foolishness, a damn app, right? Everything is... A, 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 what you need to... App stands for application, right? The, a, the true application is the Bible. These are the things you need to apply to your life because if you don't, it's going to turn out bad for you, man. All right? Isaiah 47 and verse 12 Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, which I mean, social media now, is it a place for it? Sure. But you people take it too far, man. It's sorcery, man. It says, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be thou shalt ever be a prophet. If so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. And so you get on there, you got everybody got an opinion, right? Everybody can tell you what's, what you're supposed to do with your life. Everybody's uh, all these women into uh, zodiac signs. You got mediums on there and psychics. All of these people can tell you everything what's going on, but nobody want to listen to the Bible. So when it get real out here. You call on them to save you and see how it's going to turn out, man. All right. It says, behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. They're not going to deliver themselves from the power of the flame that's coming from above, man. There shall not a cold. There shall not be a cold to warm it, nor fire to sit before it. They shall be unto thee with whom thou hast labored. Even thy merchants from thy youth, they shall wander everyone to his quarter None shall save thee. You see, these people ain't going to save you. They ain't going to be nowhere to be found in the times to come, right? All these people y'all listening to and all these apps and all of this social media, all of this demonism and Satanism going on in America and across the earth, man. Y'all better get y'all y'all lives together, man. You better get your souls right. Now is the time to get your soul right because if you don't, hey, the Lord going to burn that up too in them fires, man. Now, he, now when, I'm, when I'm saying burn it, he's not going to burn it to the point of destruction, but you're going you gonna to feel that fire on your spirit so that you, you, it's sealed in your membrane when you Israelites are reborn in the kingdom of heaven to be a part of your shame. You know, you, your ass, you're going to be in the kingdom. You're going to get close to a damn oven and you, you're going to remember that flame. It's going to come up and it's going to be like a chill in your spine. Like, oh, shit, man. It's going to remind you that you went off and you disobeyed the heavenly father. All right, but this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 19. I'm going to wrap it up with this one. It says, for horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation, man. All right? The Lord said that day is going to be a day of doom and darkness and gloominess. All right? So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, brothers. Hey, I pray that you all be saved in the chariots of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai and that the fire and the destruction does not come nigh thee nor your households. I pray we be kept and I pray we stay out of this foolishness and this folly and the floods that is Esau and the Lord help us so that we can be in a better position when all chaos and hell breaks loose and that we be looking down and not up when the judgment comes. We want to look up first when our because our redemption draws not and we get beamed up, Lord willing, we be looking down on the destruction and these people be in flames. So, hey, with that, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakudash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David, the hopeful elect. Until next time, Shalom, and a Bible ball.